Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, glad to have you here as always, and it's time to exercise the demons. That's right folks, what you see before you is one of my mocks, and for the equal-eyed viewers, you may recognize that a lot of the body is very similar to one of the official sets. This is uh, Vizon and Fenrak. A lot of the parts and the basic idea for the body came from that set. Um... And if you've seen any of the more recent short videos that I've done about the other Bionicle mocks, you'll know that uh, they're all getting dismantled to rebuild the official sets. Now, I really like this guy. I like his vibe, you know, his aesthetic is pretty cool. Um, but I just simply have too many parts tied up in this mock. I go to the other sets, and I'm kind of on a roll putting those back together. Uh, I did eight of them in, like, the last two days. And I really wanted to put this one off to the very absolute last. But I'm I'm at a standstill. I'm at a roadblock. Uh, I don't have a choice. I don't want to, but I gotta. Uh, this makes me very sad. Um... But let's go over a lot of the details. He doesn't really stand very well on this hard plastic. He works a lot better on carpet. Um, and I'm going to have to do this mostly by hand because he's too large for my little turntable. Uh, he's got these really articulate legs, front and back. Um, I modified these um, quite a bit. I mean, the, the good portion of the body is basically, you know, original um, to the Vizon and Fenric, but I made some changes here and there. Um, the back legs, I had to add these parts to it as well. I got Those are some of the ones I got to take off for one of my other sets. Um, you know, the back legs are fine. I wish that I had more than just this one ball joint here. Um, cause the rest of the leg is pretty sturdy, but that one, it'll slide and stuff like that, but he's got some pretty good reach and also very good posability and articulation back here. Um, I have this chain, you know, goes around him up there, across his shoulder, down behind him, the staff sort of ax halberd sort of thing. I like how his hands came out. You know, I actually used feet for it, but I, I'll i show you on this other hand. It's probably a lot easier to show. Um, the way I put it on makes it kind of work really well as a hand. You know, I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, the arms aren't anything spectacular. They're kind of just like a regular bionicle. Um, these faces here, I actually realized that I needed to take them apart because I was looking for all three of these masks, and I was like... Man, did I leave did I leave a box of Legos at my parents' house or something? Where is everything? Uh, and then I realized, oh, yeah, they're on this guy. <sighs> I like these red sort of spiny things. They, they are also articulated. I don't want to lift them up because they're kind of hard to put back into position, but they're sort of like a rib cage and add a lot of color and pop. I like them. Um, I feel the, the head, if it was, I don't know, maybe the darker red would have been cool, but it's, it's, it's fine. And got horns on him. I like those horns. This is the cape that Vizon and Fenrek set came with. Um, underneath is not that great, to be honest. Um... You got this big old cavity here. Um, his body does, you know, move quite a bit. It's quite opposable because it's just ball joints. It's, it's honestly, that's a very finicky connection. I wish I had done it better, but I made this years ago. You know, like a little tail flap here. Um, some Rakshi heads here to flush it out. Um, but yeah, the cape goes a long way in making that less obvious. 
I mean, he's quite poseable. You know, wiggling. It's like, I like it. I don't want to kill him, but I got to. Um, he's had a good run. But it's time to say bye-bye. Bye-bye.